So, um, I have a rant. I'm really pissed off at Facebook. Um, I went and I posted some of my pictures to Third Phase Moon. Um, I've been seeing really weird stuff in the sky, and you guys probably won't believe me unless you see the pictures. Um, they are on my other Google account, but if you'd like to see them, I can show you them. Um, the only thing is I can't put this on pause. So if you like, leave me a comment and I will show you um, the pictures that I see in the sky. And they're magnificent. I mean, no plane can do this. No, there's nothing in the sky that can do what I've seen. It's practically impossible for us. Um, anyway, back to third phase of the moon. So I post stuff and I go back two days later because I see the really cool video on YouTube. So I go and I, I go and check all my stuff on Facebook and then BAM! I mean it's not there. I mean it is gone. So I basically told them on Google Plus, hey, what happened to your Facebook account? I mean like I went, it's not that I'm blocked. They don't block people for just sending them photos. That doesn't make sense. So like you guys can try it. Go on Facebook right now and punch in third phase of moon. It's all one word. Don't separate the words. Leave third phase of moon all in one word because that's what their website is. And it is not there. Nothing to do with them is, is there. Even their fan base, because I know that fans go on and they they basically take their footage and they make their own channel to make themselves popular. They're not even there. I mean, everything to do with third phase of moon, everything to do with aliens, it's all gone. Now, I am pissed off because here's the thing. If they were so... You know, oh, this doesn't exist. Uh, there is nothing in our skies. There's no such thing. Uh, oh, it'll never happen. You guys are crazy. You guys don't see anything. Or, or when we do see something, it's a stupid story. Like, oh, you didn't see that. You must have seen something else. And th it's just ridiculous. I mean, we know what we saw. We were there. You weren't. Who are you to tell us what we seen? I mean logically it doesn't make sense what we've seen and that's why we're coming forward to tell you tell the government about it and third phase of moon about it because these people really need somebody to talk to i mean it's frightening with imagine yourself you walk outside and then all of a sudden you look up and you see something hovering above you melting i mean imagine a thousand stars in one clump and all of a sudden they turn into metal shiny metal of the same color then they all fuse together and start dropping like melted melted metal now does that sound like a plane to you no imagine walking outside and seeing something like that in your sky and it gets closer and closer and closer wouldn't you be freaked out and talk to somebody about it and that's what these people need. If these people actually did see something, um, they don't want to come forward and talk about this because they're going to be ridiculed. People say, oh, they want to they want, uh, they, they be noticed. No, it's a club that nobody wants to belong to. We don't want to see this shit. We don't want this shit around. You know, some people say, oh my God, that's so cool. I want to see that again. But when it comes closer to you and it gets really close to you and you don't know what the fuck it is and you feel like your life is in jeopardy, then it's different. Then you start to think, holy shit, maybe these people were telling the truth. And, you know, it's time for the government to listen. And that's why I'm doing this video. Uh, if there was no such thing as aliens and there was no such thing as E.T. as they put it and they, they like to make fun of it, then why erase... Um, <clears throat> something so harmless I mean this had a lot of a lot of users on it um, another thing that has nothing to do with this video that I would like to share with you about Facebook is you can believe me or not but I know for a fact because it was all over the uh, all over the news and years back um, Facebook uh, works with the police and the police have every if you're on Facebook the police have everything and it goes deeper than that. If you have Messenger, uh, you, like my cell phone, when it doesn't update on Messenger, it'll show me a threat. There's a threat to your phone. And then when I look into my software, it shows me and it tells me that Google, uh, sorry, not Google, um, Messenger has the right to take everything on your phone. 
your pictures, your videos, your emails, everything you do online, and it does not matter if it's on Facebook. I mean, they get everything on your phone. And if Facebook gets everything on your phone, the police get everything on your phone because the police work with Facebook. Police are on Facebook 24-7. Ask yourself this. The crime rate has gone up so high this year. How? Why is it only since they started Facebook? And I don't like, I, I didn't mean to say just this year. Just in the last three years or four years since the police have been on Facebook, they have been making a lot of arrests. Now here's the thing. When I call the police for something, for help, they act like I'm a criminal. They act like I did something wrong. When I ask them a question, they cut me off halfway through and say, Did you have a question? Well, yeah, I was just asking it, but you cut me off. Like, they're complete jerks down here. I don't know how they are where you live, but they do not listen to us. Now, if they cannot help the victim, how are they making so many arrests? And I'm not the only person that said this. Uh, my whole family practically thinks so. The people that I'm close to, they don't like the police because they do the same thing. My friends don't like the I Hell, I want to tell you something. I won't tell you who the person is or get into detail. But I have a friend, and he's really high-liked. Um, he was in a profession with a school, and he was he was very liked by everybody. And the police went to his house and they asked him about the other teacher that was working at the school because he molested a kid. And um, my friend said, well, when I find out, when I found out back then, I quit. That was it for me. I didn't want anything to do with him. I left. Well, the police acted as if he was a pedophile and he was hiding something. I mean, he gave all the information that he could and he still got ridiculed. I mean, can you imagine you're trying to help somebody out? by telling them what you know and then you get called the pedophile. You, you know, not called the pedophile, but acted like you're a pedophile. This is so not fair and I don't know how the police get away with this. But I just wanted to let everybody know that Facebook and the police are working together and everything you have on Messenger, they can have. Photos, pictures, color IDs, logs, every time you put somebody into your contacts, they have all of that. To me, I'm not worried about it. You want to check my shit? Go ahead. I'm not hiding anything. But it's a, it's, it's to do with our rights. They're trampling all over our rights, and it's, it. I know it's gonna sound funny, but it's not right. I mean, this is, this is leading to a one world order, and I hate to say it, but I think in, like maybe 20. 22 maybe we are gonna face some kind of world order i hate to say it because you know some of those people they they sound like holy shit they're over the top but you know i'm really starting to listen because when you look in the states they can go up to you if you're waiting at a bus stop and tell you to leave i mean you didn't even do anything and they'll tell you to leave and if you don't they'll beat you i mean what is that what do you classify that as uh under or the guy that stopped at the toronto uh, the Toronto hockey game. He left. He was in a subway. He went to go walk home. The security guard stopped him for no apparent reason. And he started fucking smashing on the guy. I mean, maybe the guy said something inappropriate. Who knows? It doesn't give you a right to start pummeling the guy with your fist. I mean, he had him up against the wall, punching him out. I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense. So, that's my rant for two minutes today. And it's my second video, so... Um, I'm, a, I'm an an uh, amateur, sorry, I can't talk right because my teeth aren't in my mouth, so I'll see you guys here back next time. See you later guys. Hopefully my videos will get better, and if you have anything that you'd like to see, let me know. I'll put it up. I'm not shy. See you later.